Just a few years ago, Belizeans were more likely to have the lights off rather than on due to faults on Belize's link with Mexico, not to mention regular rate increases. But after some early stumbling, rates have stabilized and Belize Electricity Limited is preparing to make some moves in Mexico's energy market. BEL CEO Jeff Locke outlines the primary benefits of the new 15-year agreement. With this new agreement, it will give us an opportunity to sell excess energy when we have to Mexico. That will allow us to have more sales of energy across our, our lines, which will then reduce our unit costs. So by reducing our unit costs, it gives us an opportunity in the future to be able to give customers more competitive prices. We are, will now be invited and allowed to, to, up to, to compete in the Mexican market. So when we are inviting suppliers to, for Belize, we could invite them to say, it's not only Belize have the opportunity to supply, they'll also have the opportunity to supply into the Mexican market. So whilst they are able to provide reliable electricity at a competitive price, then it's not only the Belizean market they should look at as an opportunity, but the Mexican market as well. But should we expect cheaper prices soon, considering that Belize buys as much of its power, 40%, as we do from the hydroelectric dams on the Macau? For the answer, we turn to BEL Senior Manager Ernesto Gomez. Whenever it's a very cold day in Mexico and the demand is very low, and also a cold day in Belize, uh, prices can go as far down as four cents US a kilowatt hour. But when it's a very hot day and the demand is very high and the congestion is very high, uh, prices can go very high, as high as 25 cents US a kilowatt hour. So it's the opportunity that exists. Um, um, and at an average, uh, CFE is cheap. Uh, we just have to make sure we take advantage on the hourly basis on, 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 on when the, the prices are right for us to purchase. Purchases are wholesale and therefore not price regulated. There is an hourly auction of power by CFE in which BEL participates. It's a result of Mexico's energy reform initiative, which is established in 2014. But the part of the agreement which BEL expects will help Belize is the chance to trade, which Gomez explains. It becomes real in the rainy season when the dams are spilling and in the early hours of the morning, the, the power required in Belize is very little. And as a result, we are unable to take all the power that are produced in the hydroelectric dams in the, in the Macal River. Uh, as a result, we waste the water going down the river that we are never to recover. So in this wholesale market now, for those hours, we are able to offer that extra power that we would have rather wasted on the river, of course, with a little profit, into the Mexican market. And um, if their prices are right, we'll be able to sell that power at any given time. Um, and, and of course, that becomes the revenue that is shared with all the customers. That gives us that capacity to keep the rate stable. And of course, if, 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 if we started to add generation into the country, at the right price that we're able then to sell to the Mexican market, it can assist in, um, in lowering the rates into the future. CFE Calificados representative says it is looking forward to working with BEL. We are very committed to work together with uh, Belize. Uh, this is a key relationship for us. It was uh, the first customer that CFE Calificados as an affiliate of CFE had in a in, uh, year and a half ago. And this represents uh, something that we are very proud. And this is a very important customer for us and a partner, as I said. Uh, and for all, we feel honored that uh, Belize has trusted in CFE Calificados to, to do business together. And in terms of uh, expanding the relationship to the new areas, of course, uh, Calificado feels very confident that we can do business together and to bring Belize participated in the market in Mexico as well. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.